you want to deny evolution, that's fine. But don't make your kids do it, because we need, because we need, because we need them. The reality is exactly the way that clip ends. The world needs your children. They're fine if they manage to corrupt you. That's all well and good. But ultimately, they need to pervert a culture as early as possible. The entity I'm going to touch on briefly is Disney. Disney is one of the largest tools in the modern agenda to corrupt your children. Even in that clip, Disney portrays evolution when they draw Tarzan with ape-like feet walking around on his knuckles playing in this idea in your head. If they need you to support the deconstruction of the American family, they will paint that into their content. Disney is known for anyone that has researched it to hide sexual deviancy and downright perverted nasty things in some of the most blockbuster films that they've ever put out, be it Lion King or Little Mermaid, etc. I will link a video uh, in the description box. Be warned, you adults, you watch this, you don't have your children present, but you need to be aware of just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, some of the perverted tactics Disney has taken for decades to pervert your minds when you were young and your children's mind now. This is no small thing. These images, these poses stick in the mind of a person from youth. And like many of their stars, where they'll take and they'll sexual, sexualize and pervert young superstars to be Britney Spears, Miley Spire, uh, Cyrus, countless, countless others, using them in sexual ways, perverted ways, to warp and corrupt your children's mind. Just even recently as this month, there was a large sting in Polk County, Florida. Sheriff Grady Judd, uh, they arrested 108 people on human trafficking. Out of 108, four were Disney employees. I'll read you part of the article. It's at Breitbart.com. The headline is No T. Four Disney employees arrested for human trafficking. Uh, it gives the names of the four trying to solicit um, or sending sexual messages to an undercover detective thinking they were a 14-year-old girl and others. The author goes on to write, gee, I simply can't imagine why people like that would oppose a bill that prohibits sexualizing kids. This... Uh, bill that's trying, you know, going through in Florida that Disney and others so oppose. That would oppose a bill that prohibits sexualizing kids aged four to eight in the classroom. Disney employees are so angry that Florida's public schools won't be allowed to groom little kids on their behalf. These perverts are staging a walkout because Disney's new CEO didn't do enough to ensure that prepubescent kids are groomed in the classroom and behind the backs of parents. After all, how are you going to talk to a 14 year old kid into having sex if you've not properly groomed them? Altogether, <clears throat> the Polk County Sheriff's Office arrested 108 in a six day undercover operation called Operation March Sadness 2 for being Disney staffers. So the author says, in a population of 750,000 people, Disney employees make up nearly 4% of those that were caught in the human trafficking sweep. Does that anyone believe that 4% of those employed in Polk County work for Disney? I think you see where I'm going, so just keep in mind 
the entertainment company for American children is a hotbed of sickos and perverts who want kids as age four to seven sexualized in the classroom and it also appears to be a company with the kind of environment that attracts accused human traffickers including those targeting children when you see disney ceo groveling and apologizing for opposing a bill that protects little kids for, from being sexually groomed which their ceo did uh, look on mark dice covers it answers in genesis uh, spoke on it the way that he said that they would not speak out as much openly, but they would push their pro LGBT slash perverted agenda through their content, which they've been doing all along, and it will only increase. Um, says, hey, you know, when we were told guys just want to always, it's referencing the homosexual um, agenda in general, the LGBT in general, the claim was, well, guys just want to get married. What's wrong with that? And then he goes on to say, do you remember how those of us who warned you about the slippery slope that this would lead to were attacked as alarmists? Well, since then, now you have drag queen story hours in public libraries aimed at your children. You have mentally ill men sharing locker rooms with your daughters. This is aimed at your children. You have gay porn being taught in grade school. Gay porn being taught in grade school. Who's that targeting? Your children. And you have Walt Disney opposing the prohibition of grooming little kids, leaving your children vulnerable. The statement quoted says, we just want to get married. We just want to be like everyone else. We just want to be left alone. And now look how these groups are normalizing the abuse of small children with chemical castration, sexual propaganda, how the, the people in this agenda talk about how they have trans kids and pansexuals. Uh, there was an intercepted Zoom call, I think that was on Mark Dice that covered that, talking about how they're wanting to push and increase and make about 50% of their lead characters somehow uh perverted either either gay transsexual pansexual gender binary and all these other ludicrous godless statements that is the group that owns so many media outlets that owns uh, so many corporations that feed ideas into your children to pervert them so I'm not going to go into too much more detail than this. It's it's all online. It's typing Disney uh, sex trafficking, Disney pervert, Disney. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's everywhere and it's sickening. These people are coming for your children, and they have been for a long time. Years ago, I looked into things they would hide into cartoons, even back into the black and white, sketchy, skippy kind of cartoon days. It's not slowed down. It's how they plant these ideas into your mind for you to kind of become normalized with it, your children's mind to where they would actually want to participate and become curious, going exactly against the word of God every chance they get. So I'll put the link in the description box for that video, um, just mainly so you can see there's a lot even at surface level of the perverted nature, movies that we grew up watching, movies our parents bought us. They never saw it. We never saw it. But it's there. It can be verified. And it's perverted. So take time to watch it. Um, like just to see even the, the sick children's rides that they molded to fashion Donald Duck in a sexual position for a child to sit on it. This is how warped these people are. And I just want to make you aware of it in case you aren't. If you are aware of it, please warn others who maybe have never known about it or what have you. I came across a profound statement. You know, the Bible says that that which is sown is that which will be reaped. This country has spearheaded many a perverted movement. 
this country has pushed more of, of these things and allowed more of these things than probably any other country. We're seeing the fruit because here's the truth. If a nation sows perversion, what they'll reap is a bunch of perverts.